If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. In tonight's video, we're going to be discussing the Bajoran. The Bajorans, or Bajora, were a humanoid species native to the planet Bajor in the Alpha Quadrant. The Bajorans had one of the oldest and richest cultures in the quadrant, though in the 24th century they suffered greatly at the hands of the Cardassian Union. With their liberation from the Cardassians and the discovery of the Bajoran wormhole in 2369, the Bajorans were thrust onto the interstellar stage. Bajoran skin color could range from light to dark variations similar to humans. Bajoran women gestated for only five months, forming an intricate network of blood vessels between the mother and the fetus. During the pregnancy, Bajoran women were frequently afflicted by bouts of uncontrollable sneezing, which would be the same to like a human woman experiencing morning sickness during the pregnancy. During labor, the focus was on keeping the woman relaxed. In the 24th century, the ancient Bajoran civilization stretched back more than a half a million years. The ancient Bajorans were renowned for their accomplishments in science, mathematics, philosophy, and the arts. The greatest of these early Bajoran civilizations was the First Republic, which flourished between 20,000 and 25,000 years ago. During this time, magnificent cities such as Bahala were built. The next great phase of Bajoran civilization began approximately 10,000 years ago when the first of the Tears of the Prophets was discovered above Bajor. These artifacts ushered in a new era of spiritual connection with the Bajoran gods, the Prophets. By the 16th century, the Bajorans had developed sublight space travel and were exploring their home star system with solar cell spacecraft. Some Bajoran explorers even reached the Kardashian system several light years away, sailing at warp speed in tachyon eddies. This period came to an end with the annexation of Bajor by the Cardassians, sometime before 2319. The occupation of Bajor, usually simply referred to by the Bajorians as the occupation, was a period from 2328 to 2369 during which the Bajoran homeworld of Bajor was under the control of the Cardassian Union. During the occupation, the Kardashians perpetrated a coordinated scheme of strip mining, forced labor, and genocide across the planet. The occupation gave rise to the fierce Bajoran resistance, which used guerrilla and terror tactics to eventually force the Kardashians to withdraw. Many Bajorans also fled the occupation and settled on planets all over the known galaxy. Almost everywhere, they remained separated from other peoples living under the poorest circumstances, in refugee camps like those on Valo II. In 2369, after 40 years of terrorism by the resistance, the Kardashians finally withdrew from Bajor. As the occupation had left Bajor devastated and politically fragile, the newly formed provisional government requested Federation support. Starfleet established joint administration with the Bajoran militia over the former Kardashian space station Tarak Nor, which was renamed Deep Space Nine. Bajor also applied for Federation membership, which was accepted five years later in 2373. However, the Chamber of Ministers voted to defer membership after the emissary Benjamin Sisko warned that Bajor would be destroyed unless it stood alone. The Federation remained hopeful that Bajor would one day join. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.